So as we all know, there's a lot of really bad pranks out there, especially with TikTok nowadays. Our app is just full of shit pranks. And today I've come across one of the worst pranks I've ever seen, really. It's not funny. There's no story to it. The end isn't good. It, it is fucking boring. Yeah, let's get into it. Yo, excuse me, guys. Um, I'm trying to get something to eat. Do you think you might be spare change by any chance? If you could, it'd be a blessing. Thank you so much. So it starts off with a guy going up to two very nice individuals. The woman offers him a meal because he's hungry. So starting off really nice. And you wouldn't really think, oh, this is going to be a prank. But it does. And it's just manipulating people's kindness. It's not nice. I really appreciate it. What's your name? My name is Fanya. Fanya, I'm Trey. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, you can probably see where this is going. So she gets in the meal, a nice, actually a decent meal. You really didn't have to do that. She could have said no. Most people would have. He probably went around to like six different tables before this and they were probably there fucking hiding thinking, please don't ask for food. And then he came over and they were like, of course, don't worry. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you a $5 meal. Just stay the fuck away from us, yeah? And uh, then he goes to collect a rock. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for giving me that food. I want to give you this rock. <laughs> yeah, so you think, oh, that, that's kind of weird, but funny, I, I guess. You know, her face is kind of like, please go away. Thank you for the rock. There's got to be something wrong with this guy. And if someone had just posted this on TikTok saying, oh yeah, I traded a rock for a $5 meal, then it would have been a decent video. But he then just goes on a monologue about whatever the fuck. Now, if you didn't give me any money to get food, I would have bashed both your skulls in with that rock. But I want to say, life's about choices. And you made a valuable choice and the correct choice. You decided to spare money for that meal and I decided to spare your lives. Yeah, so he says probably the weirdest thing you'd ever say to a stranger. I don't know why the fuck you got someone to say that. It's not funny. Like, you can see it on both their faces as well. They're like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Like, we just did a good thing for him. What the hell was wrong with him? And uh, thankfully, the boyfriend or the husband, probably the husband now after what he did, gets up and obviously talks to this guy as he should. What are you talking about, bro? Spend my you life guys for are what? super sweet. Are sweet. you fucking serious? <laughs> bro, get your shit in balance. You guys are really sweet, you know? Don't fucking talk I to appreciate like that. that. How dare you, bro? Thank you. Oh, you're lucky. Kind gesture to buy yeah. something and that's what you want. The boyfriend or husband there responded fucking perfectly. He didn't get too angry where he was going to hit them. The wife knew that it's not a fair fight at all. Look at the fucking size of that guy. That is a mountain of a man. He is actually huge. So she's holding him back, which I really can't blame her. And uh, yeah, it's just so disrespectful to do shit like this. And I'm seeing it way more often nowadays where people will do a good thing for someone or like they'll try and bait them into doing a good thing and then they'll prank them. It's just fucked up. It's not funny. Anyway, I did actually look far and why to try and find the creator of this prank and i couldn't find him he got lucky today because i really i would have done horrible things to him and uh yeah that's about it see you